Hello everyone and thanks for watching. Today I would like to demonstrate why not to use an infrared temp gun such as this unit here when collecting temperatures for an X-Air cabinet cooler sizing guide. When calculating the amount of heat that needs to be cooled in an enclosure, we ask for a current ambient air temperature from outside the cabinet as well as a current internal air temperature for inside the cabinet. These air temps can easily be taken by using a simple desktop thermometer like this unit here. Right now we're monitoring our current external temp or uh, for the internal temperature today I'm going to be using an XAIR electronic temperature control unit which reads through a small thermocouple wire that is suspended inside the cabinet. As long as the probe is not touching a surface inside the cabinet, then it is going to measure the air temperature around it. This is different from what an IR temp gun does. An IR temp gun, like this unit, is going to measure a surface temperature over an area that is specified by the distance from the target. For this gun, when measuring from 12 inches away, it monitors a one and a half inch diameter circle of the surface. This again is a surface temperature rather than an air temperature. Now, I'm going to point the gun at the outside of the enclosure and what it's going to happen is it's going to measure the surface temperature of the cabinet. For instance, when I aim at the outside of the cabinet, you can see here I am pointing it right at the cabinet and I am monitoring 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Our room air temperature is actually 77 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So there's a few temperature difference there. Now, even if I shoot through the window and the laser aiming device is going to show that I'm measuring the back wall of the cabinet, it's actually going to measure the front surface of this plexiglass window and inside the cabinet it looks like it's measuring it says 84 degrees Fahrenheit when in actuality our internal air temperature is 107 degrees in climbing. Even if I was to open the door I would still only be measuring surface temperatures from components whatever I'm aiming it at inside the cabinet. The best way to obtain the correct temperatures that we need to help size the correct cabinet cooler system is to use, again, an old-fashioned thermometer or something like the electronic uh, temperature control unit. Something that an IR temp gun is useful for would be to scan the inside of your cabinet for the hottest point in the cabinet. This is going to show what your heat generating components are. You can then, when installing your cabinet cooler system, route your cold air distribution kit closer to that point and distribute more cool air in that area. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions or need help sizing an X-Air cabinet cooler system, feel free to contact any application engineer. Thanks. Have a great day.